Morning everyone, this is Christina from Somerset Libraries. This is the fifth time today that I've tried to read this story, um, but I keep laughing, so that's how well it's going. So, uh, before we get to the story, which is very funny, um, I'd just like to shout out to Lily. Hello Lily! I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you're behaving very well for mum. And a hello to George as well as to Ruby! Remembered. So, the story we're going to read is Smelly Parrot Feet and His Smelly Feet. I'm not re-recorded by Lucy Rowland and Mark Chambers. And it's published by Macmillan, so thank you very much Macmillan for letting us read this book. Um, I'm going to try to keep a straight face on this one. Pirate Pete and His Smelly Feet Old Pirate Pete had the smelliest feet, the cheesiest feet on the sea. Each time he walked by, all his shipmates would cry, What a bad stick, dearie me. <clears throat> the captain and crew didn't know what to do. They liked to keep tidy and neat. For though they looked mean, they were really quite clean. And they'd all had enough of Pete's feet. They found a big tub and they gave Pete a scrub, but the water turned murky and black. It didn't take long till they noticed the pong and they realised the smell had come back. The captain said, crew, there's just one thing to do. It's time that old Pete walked the plank. Pete sniffled. Farewell, then splashed, in he fell, and ever so slowly, he sank. The seaweed it swirled round Pete's feet as he whirled through the sea with a swoosh and a swish. He turned a bit pink when his terrible stink disturbed all the poor little fish. By the time he found land, Pete was covered in sand. He stomped through the leaves and the dirt. He squelched through some tar and he wandered so far that even his toenails hurt. And then came a yelp, someone calling for help. Old Pirate Pete looked around. Help! He heard. Help us, please! As he looked to the sea, my friends are in trouble. He frowned. And there by the boat, which was, bar which was barely afloat, were three hungry sharks in a row. The pirates looked pale as they clung to the sail. And the shark circled slowly below. Old Peach scratched his head. I must help them, he said. The pirates looked close to defeat. Just then, from the sea came a strong pong of brie. And the captain cried out, Look, it's Pete! Pete's feet kicked in tar could be smelt from afar, but the pirates just shouted, Hooray! Because the sharks took one sniff, of that terrible whiff, and they turned and swam quickly away. Standing slightly upwind, the pirate all grinned, free cheers for Pete's foul smelling feet. From then on, the crew and the young captain too weren't nearly so clean or so neat. And if sharks were around, then the crew could be found wave wafting their toes in the breeze. They'd wink at old Pete as they scrubbed head to feet with handfuls of stinky cheese. <laughs> the end. I really like that one. And I did laugh several times reading this one. So I hope you enjoyed this story, Pirate Pete and his smelly feet. Um, we hope you enjoyed it today. 
don't forget you can follow us on social media. We're Somerset Libraries UK on Facebook. We are Somerset Libraries on Instagram and Somerset Lib on Twitter. I hope you had as much fun listening to the story as I had reading it. And we'll see you again next week. If you want us to shout out, just leave a comment below or to the side of me. And I'll do that next week. <laughs> okay, bye now.